section on the teaching of productive skills and the teaching of receptive skills, our activate activities will usually involve some form of game. And our final consideration here will be the use of games in the classroom. We could start with a definition of what we actually mean by a game and basically has three components. A game is an activity that has rules. It should have, for its purpose in the classroom, a teaching point. And by nature of the fact that it's a game, it should also include an element of fun. So that will be our working definition for a game that we're going to use in the classroom. There are many different types of games, and they range between the competitive, those which require cooperation, and there are all sorts of games that involve both of these together. So what we'll do is to consider two well-known games from a long list that we could give, such as Scrabble, Monopoly, Tic-Tac-Toe, Jeopardy, and so on and so forth. We'll have a look at the, those two games and see how they can be adapted for classroom use.